Hey, Quark is a huge news in the Java community these days. Now, developers can write Java code and deploy as a native artifact in Kubernetes, having a low memory usage and a fast boot time. Today, I will walk you through on creating a Quarks project, writing the Kubernetes manifest, and deploying the Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service. We will see in action things like readiness and newness, load balancing between replicas, and zero time rollouts. So, as a first step, we need to create the Quarkus project. To do that, we can use the Maven plugin that the Quarkus community created. It's pretty straightforward. We just need to type mvm io.quarkus Quarkus Maven plugin using the version 1.4.2.0 calling the whole create. But now I want to add a health checker from the microprofile specifications that we can use later on the Kubernetes uh, configuration. So we just need to add an argument extensions calling the dependence half. That is a Quarkus extension. So uh, the method plugin is creating our project. To do that, it will make a couple of questions. Uh, the first question is the group ID. Uh, the artifact ID, uh, the first one is snapshot. Yes, I want to create a has resource. Yes, the has resource can be hello resource and answering the path hello. Okay, adding the extension, we can now see that we have a project called hello service. We can go into and call the Visual Studio Code. So the first action that we want to take here in our project is to change the hello resource to answer together the, the word hello uh, the name of the machine that is running into Java application. When we deploy it on Kubernetes and take a look on the, the logs and the answers we end to see the pod name that is answering that response uh, to understand better about the load balancing between the replicas that we have of the same pod. Uh, to do that, we can hello from and that here, system get env get or default hostname. And the default value I will use unknown. Uh, to avoid that our test uh, breaks when building this project, I need to change here as well. Okay, so now that we have our code ready for be uh, deployed, we can go to the docker native file and take a look here. We have the comments over here. It Quarkus has this concept that we call developer joy. So it has a bunch of features that helps us developers to make our lives easier. For example, uh, to build a native artifact, we just need to do the Maven package calling the profile native. And passing this property container build as true, we are saying that we want to build a native artifact for the Linux environment. Uh, if you pass false or ignore this property, uh, the native build will be uh, run to your environment. For example, in my case, a Mac environment. Uh, but since we are running on Docker, we want to build, to, to build it as a Linux artifact. So we just need to copy paste this command and we can run it. So it takes a couple minutes to run, so let's wait. So the native build is done. Now we can move forward to create our Docker image with our uh, native artifact. Now we can go to our Docker uh, file, grab the command to build the Docker image. We can use here, uh, I want to change here to use modus create, uh, the modus create repository, and use Quark's hello service, and also tag as the first version. Uh, we can use that to build our, our project, our uh, Docker image, okay. We can push it to our repository. Takes a couple minutes. 
Now, the next step is to deploy it on Kubernetes, right? So, in order to do that, we need to write the Kubernetes manifest. We need to write the manifest as a deployment object to deploy our containers as pod. We need to write a node port service that will be a service to load balance between our replicas. And we need to write a manifest ingress object that will create a load balancer, a application load balancer on the Amazon uh, Web Services uh, infrastructure. To do that, we need to go to our project. We can create a folder here, cube files. Uh, the new file we can call namespace. The namespace code is pretty simple. We are using the kind namespace. The metadata is Quarkus Hello Demo with the label Quarkus Hello Demo. This is the name or of our namespace for that application. Uh, the next file that we need to create is the big one. Um, is the deployment file that we will describe our pods. So we have the deployment file here, the kind is deployment, the metadata is hello app, Quarkus hello name demo is the namespace. Uh, we have three replicas. I mean, that's the point of using the deployment file. We can say to the Kubernetes, I want to create three pods based on this configuration. Uh, the configuration of the pod is with what we have here in the template and the spec. So the name of our uh, pods will be Hello Web and the ID of each replica. Based on the modules create Quarkus Hello Service version 1. We want to always pull that image from our repository if you have changes for the same tag, for example. And the container port will run on the 8080. And we have the liveness and the readiness probations here. Uh, the health endpoint live and ready are endpoints that are provided by that extension that I had in the first uh, step of the Quarkus creation, the health uh, module that is from the micro profile specifications. Okay, uh, having the deployment file, we can move forward for the node port YAML file. The node port YAML file is an object that is a service that we are just uh, saying that we want to target the port uh, on the TCP protocol, the port 8080. So the service has the responsibility of load balancing between each of one of the replicas that you have on the deployment file. And to be able to connect on this uh, application by using the internet, we need to expose it using a Amazon application load balancer. For that, we need to create an ingress object that we will call ingress AOB YAML file. The ingress file is pretty straightforward as well. We have a kind that is ingress, and we have a couple of notations here saying that the class is AOB, that is application load balancer. Uh, we want to uh, use the schema internet facing. It means that we will expose it to internet as a uh, service. We will have a DNS to, to be able to connect whatever we are on the internet. And here we are saying that uh, answering in the path slash, in the root path, we will hold to the hello service that is the node part that you just created uh, on the port 8080. Okay, uh, we have the files ready. Now we can go to our uh, terminal and execute the Kubernetes applies for those files. First of all, we need to apply the, we need to go to the folder as well, right? We need to go to src main cube files, and then we can, ex we can apply the Kubernetes apply file uh, namespace. Okay, uh, namespace C Quarkus Hello Demo created. Uh, now we can apply the pods. 
And when applying the pods, let's keep an eye here in this area because we see the, the pod creation uh, happening. So apply the F deployment. We can see here that the pods hello app are with the status creating and now running. Uh, ready, waiting for to be ready. One slash one, one slash one. Okay, we have our pods ready. The next step is to apply the uh, node port servicing. Okay, and the last step, apply the ingress file. Okay, created. Now we can go to my uh, AWS uh, console to take a look here. We can see that we have our D our application load balancer being created. Uh, we need to wait for the status active here. Uh, takes a couple uh, minutes. Okay, let's wait on that. Okay, now we have our application load balancer active here. We can go, we can use this DNS name and go to our terminal and throw it. And we can see the hello from using the, the pod name here. I want to simulate like, for example, users connect this application and run a rollout of the version to the next version to the second one uh, and with users connected. Then we can see uh, the zero downtime uh, versus rollout that Kubernetes is so famous to have. We can see that we have different uh, pods answering the same request. Uh, the same URL, so it means that we have a load balancing between of one of the three replicas that we have on our application. We can, for example, go to the deployment file and uh, increase the number of replicas to five and apply uh, the changes. We can go to this part of the window and see that we have now five replicas. Uh, now I will go to the hello resource and instead of answering hello from, I will use Portuguese here. Uh, Olá, do. That is hello from in Portuguese. And also I want to change the hello resource test. And I will go to the Docker native file using the second version here and I will package it again to a native so I need to go to the main folder uh, again it will take uh, a couple minutes to run okay great now we have our new artifact ready we can go to the docker file native I have the command ready here, uh, docker build, okay, uh, I need to push it to our docker repository, okay, now we have our uh, image on our repository, we can go to the deployment file, and here in image, we can change it to the version 2. Go to source, main, cube files, and we can apply it. Kubernetes apply file deployment. Again, let's take a look here what happens when applying this file. We can see a couple uh, pods are being terminated and others are creating. And we can see here that we will start to receive an hola do instead hello from um, as in service. So it means that now we have our pods, we have five pods answering hola do instead hello from. Uh, and we do not have any problems while uh, deploying the new version. This is huge for the Kubernetes. Uh, we can go again to the Deployment file, change it to version 1, apply it, 
waiting a couple of seconds and we can see that we will change it to hello from okay now we have hello from hello from a couple olado hello from okay now we have our bots answering hello from so that's it if you like this video please subscribe to our channel we will be providing more content about cloud native applications about kubernetes quarkus java world java ecosystem and so on thank you